Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have something very special planned. I'm going to do a theme for today's cheat day. I'm going to do everything fried. So it's going to be fried foods and stuff. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is some donuts. Because if you guys didn't know, some donuts are fried and some of them are baked. The ones I did get, they are fried. The first thing I'm going to start with is, this one is a, a raspberry fritter from a gas station that was close to my job, which is called Maverick. There's not too many of the Mavericks here in Vegas. There's more 7-Elevens and Chevrons and stuff like that. But this one looked so good. Like whenever I go into the gas station to get coffee sometimes, I was just like, oh, I would see it and I was like, oh, that looks really good. So I had to get it for today's video. And I love raspberry. It looks really good. It even smells really good. Oh, and I made some coffee from home. I use like that instant coffee that you just mix with. Look at how good that looks. That looks really good. This is probably way better than an apple fritter. It tastes really good. The next one I need to try is a blueberry fritter. So I would give that fritter about probably an 8 out of 10. It's really good. This is the new um, cheese lemon cheesecake from Donut Mania. It's pretty good. The one thing that I'm kind of disappointed about, but is it's not that filled. Normally their donuts are so much more filled, but lately the last few I've got, they're not that filled. The lemon one I would give a, I want to say a seven out of ten. Like the lemon flavor is there, it's really good, but it was just kind of disappointing that it was mostly like whipped cream and bread. I prefer more filling. The next one I got is a cronut. Just a regular one. I love the ones from um, Pink Box. They're cronuts, sometimes they have blueberry on top, or they have a maple one that's really good. Um, but I went to Donut Mania this time and the only ones that they had are just like regular um, glazed ones. But it's still going to be good, I'm pretty sure. The taste of it is so good. Nice and flaky. So that one I would give about a 9 out of 10. Because the flavor plus the dough of the Krona is just so good. But it would have been good with like some kind of topping on top. So this is the last one I got. It's their maple bacon. It's one of my favorites. I thought it would go perfect with today's video since it's all about fried foods and bacon is a fried food. So let me show you guys. It's really good. I've had it before. I'm like it's so good. The flavors. It's like the perfect balance between savory and sweet on a donut.
That's, that's going to conclude this portion for right now. I do have some more planned for today. A lot more planned for today. So I will see you guys when I eat my next meal. Bye-bye. So I got some food from Sonic. I haven't been to Sonic in forever. I got a corn dog, a, some tater tots, and some onion rings. I'm going to start with the corn dog. Ooh, I got some veneer and veneer sauce. So I asked them for like every sauce. I was like, what kind of sauces do you guys have? Because I, I don't know. And he named like a whole bunch of good ones. So I was just like, can I have one of each of everything that you have? And then I was like, is it free? And he's like, yeah. Because like McDonald's, some McDonald's that you go to, they're like really stingy about giving you like extra sauces and stuff. This is their marinara sauce. I'm going to see how it tastes with the corn dog. It's pretty good. Ooh, there's honey mustard. I like more like ketchup and mustard kind of tastes. I know they probably looked weird, but it's better than grabbing it and scooting it up. It's corn dog. I haven't had a corn dog too in a long time. Mmm. The next thing I got is the onion rings. Oh, they smell so good. I'm gonna see what other sauces that they gave me. Okay, so they also gave me barbecue sauce, thick and rich syrup. I don't think I need the syrup, but that probably would have been good with the corn dog. Oh, and the ranch. So I do want to try the barbecue and the ranch. I'm going to try the ranch first. Ah, it doesn't fit. This one's like a perfect O. I don't know if you guys can see because I don't know if it's focusing, but. This is their barbecue sauce.
gonna go back to the ranch because ranch is like the best ever If you guys go to Sonic, what do you guys like to get? I personally haven't gone there in forever, but when I used to get, when I used to go when I was little, like really little, um, the first time I ever went there, I got a root beer float. Oh, it was so good. I love root beer floats. The next thing I got are some tater tots. And then this is their french fry sauce. It kind of looks like ketchup mixed with a little bit of like ranch or mayo. I forgot how good tater tots are. And I used to eat them as a kid all the time. It's funny when you get older. And you get like into like really into fitness and stuff. You cut out so many good things. And then I started bringing them back. <laughs> and now I'm balancing. Because I feel like when you first start off your fitness journey, you like cut out a lot of stuff. Because you're trying to change your habits. But then I think once you get to a certain point, we're able to balance, you know, unhealthy food with healthy food and still maintain a healthy lifestyle. I think that that's great. And it's totally possible. Like, I do it. These are the bomb. These are the bomb diggity. So all of those were like the bomb. They were delicious. I definitely want to get some more stuff from Sonic, Sonic now. Uh, if you guys want to see some more stuff from Sonic and you guys want to see like a Sonic mukbang with like some desserts, some shakes, some food, I would love to do one. Like I totally am like interested in doing one right now <laughs> if I could, but I have so much other stuff planned today. But I will definitely keep that in mind. But if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. I totally enjoyed this portion. I have more planned. I will see you guys when I eat the next meal. Bye bye Hi everybody. So I have my final meal for today. I got some chicken nuggets from McDonald's. And then I also got Raising Cane's, their three finger, chicken finger meal. That comes with a, I got a sweet tea. And so I'm going to start with some chicken nuggets. The one thing I, I wish I would have remembered. When I went to McDonald's, I was thinking of like what sauces that I wanted. And it's, it's funny, before I went, I, I thought about it. And then when I got there, I was like spaced out. And I was like, oh my gosh. Because I normally want sweet and sour sauce with my chicken nuggets. But then I ended up like thinking, oh, buffalo sounds good. So I wanted buffalo and ranch, but I forgot to say sweet and sour. <laughs> so, but it's fine. I just think it's funny when you're like, you know what you want before you get there, but then when you get there, you're like, you draw a blank. It's funny because I asked the lady for, I was like, oh, can I have hot sauce and ketchup? And then right now when I looked in the bag, I couldn't believe that she only gave me one of each. And I'm like, why only one of each? <laughs> At least two would be nice. So 
So as some of you guys might know from my ultimate fast food video, I did get Raising Cane's, but I didn't get any sauce for some reason. And this funny, this time I got home, almost home, and then I thought to check the bag. Because I don't know, like I'm not used to really checking the bag. Like I guess I trust that they're going to give me what I, what I need. And I don't know, because like, I don't go there that often, like to Raising Cane's, to think to check for the sauce. So then I checked before I actually got fully home. And I was like looking, looking, I'm like, oh my, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, did they forget to give me the sauce again? But then it was like under the bread. So something crazy that happened. So Adrian went with me to to get the food. We were in the drive through line for Raising Cane's. And there's a in and out like right next to the, the, the Raising Cane's. They're right next to each other. And I'm like in the drive through and I look over towards the in and out and I see like 20 like teenage boys and like kids like coming out of the in and out or around from the in and out. I'm not even sure they were inside the in and out, but their cars were parked in the same parking lot as the in and out. And I was just like, they all came like at once. And like normally when you see that many people at one time and it, they were kind of walking fast, it seemed like something was wrong. And then um, some of them got in their cars and stuff and I saw what cars they were. And then another few of them kept walking past the Raising Canes. And so then, me and Adrian are like, you know, I'm driving off after I'm done with the drive through trying to leave the parking lot, and then all of a sudden I hear a gunfire. And I'm like, what? Like, a shot was fired. And you don't, like, see anybody running or anything, but I, like, left the parking lot. But I just wanted to get out of there. And then, I'm driving down the street to go home, and this car, this black car comes, like, down the street, like, really fast with no headlights on. Goes into the side, like, because I'm on the far left-hand lane, so, like, the fast lane, kind of. This is the streets, but, so, like, I'm on the far left and not the far right, and the car's, like, I'm already on, like, the edge between, like, the divider and stuff. He comes into the divider, goes around, <laughs> like, he's in a hurry. And then come to find out he was part of one of the cars that were part of parked in the park parked in the parking lot. But I saw that he had no headlights on. And so something happened. Because they were in a hurry to get out of there. I just hope nobody got hurt. No, but what was funny was, I was like thinking, if I end up parking like, you know, like I'm in the stoplight, if I'm like at the stoplight right next to them because of the fact that they tried to speed past me, I was going to take a picture of their license plate and like I was going to, because I had a feeling they did something wrong and then I ended up pretty much parked right next to them and but I was too far up ahead to be able to like take a picture, but I was like looking to see like who were in the cars and it was a bunch of teenage boys. And I like, was looking at them, and then they ended up looking at me, and I just looked at them, and I was just like, like shaking my head, like, I don't know what you guys did, but it's not good. It's like super scary when stuff like that happens. 
But it's like... It's like I can't, I know I can't like do much. Like I wish I would have ha been at a good angle to probably take a picture of their license plates and stuff. Cause then watch me see it on the news or something. And I would want them to get caught. I would want them to get caught if they did something bad. I feel like I would feel bad for their parents. Like, that would be horrible, like, hearing that your kid was involved in something like that. Well, you have to tell your child. You don't have a mind of your own. To think about what's right and what's wrong. But I know when you're young, it's like, you just kind of end up following to see like what's going to happen. And a lot of people tag along. But then I'm like, even tagging along like, be in the wrong place at the wrong time and you can get in big, big trouble. I missed one. So I am full. Everything that I ate today was really good. I would say fried food is like one of the best food that you can ever have. And what's crazy is that at the end of some of the meals that I ate, I really wasn't that full. Normally I get full pretty quickly. I mean, I stop when I get full, but I just feel like today I really didn't get as full, but I feel like I ate quite a bit. So I was surprised. But I mean, I had a feeling because it's fried food, so it's like, it's higher in calories, but it doesn't fill you up that much. It's just because, you know, it's, it's deep fried, so it's a bunch of oil, pretty much. So, but everything was good. Everything was delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you saw any of the items that you guys like or if you guys enjoy, um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys would like to see more videos. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.